Hey everybody, my name is DJ Wooldridge. And I'm Ken Whiting. And we'd like to welcome you to the Horoscope. Uh, I think this is going to be the last Horoscope. Dude, I don't even know how this one's going. You died last time. I did die last time. You know who else is dead? Uh, Bill is dead. Uh, Bill, unfortunately, was not long for this world. We're going to come back for one uh, last one uh, before we start getting into more of our short films. You guys should be looking forward to uh, checking those out soon. Which, if you haven't checked out our short films, please check out Misotheism and Christmas Requiem. We're pretty happy with them. In fact, I'm probably going to put a link right here. You can just click right there and go see that. For those who don't know, uh, the horoscope is where Ken instructs me on the language of horror films. And we've been taking a look at some classic horror films and talking about that. But for this one, for our final one, we're not going to a classic. We're going to a soon-to-be classic. DJ. Yeah. What did I give you for your birthday? You gave me uh, the opportunity to go see The Sacrament. Pre-screen tickets to The Sacrament! Yeah, but it was a great movie. Fucking rad. Sacraments produced by Eli Roth. Yep, who we all know from Hostel fame. It was really cool that Eli Roth came in to help produce this feature uh, with Ty West. Uh, and honestly, if you're looking for an Eli Roth movie, you should look elsewhere. This is very much uh, in Ty West's wheelhouse. Uh, the basic plot, there's not a lot of, like a, a lot of Ty West films, the plot isn't overly complicated. We're following an indie news crew with Vice, of all things. They make it pretty clear yep. at the beginning that this is a part of Vice. Vice has gotten popular recently, and so for those of you who don't know about Vice from before the HBO show, Vice was always subversive. Their, their form of journalism was getting to the core of it without having a biased opinion one way or the other. They want to present the facts. They want to show it as it is. So here's a movie looking at religious cults that kind of go to extremes and saying, let's just look at it like a, a reporting crew. And that's probably where we should end the description of the plot. You should definitely go see it yourself. The movie came out on video on demand this week. It's really cool the technology's given you the opportunity to see a movie that hasn't even gone out into theaters on your home TV. So if you're into that sort of thing, check out The Sacrament on video on demand. If you're not into that thing and it comes to your town in a month when it releases in June, then you should totally go to the theater and check that out. I know we're going to. Again. Exactly. And if you and if you check it out on Video On Demand, uh, you're probably going to dig enough that you're going to go to the theater anyway. To see it on Video On Demand is like five bucks. That's way cheaper than a theater ticket. There's nothing to stop you. So the reporter that you mentioned earlier is played by A.J. Bowen. He was also in... You're uh, Next. Yep. Which is like, oh, they're great movies. So was Ty West. If you saw it, spoiler if you didn't, Ty West takes a dart to the neck. Yeah, he's one of the first ones to eat it. There's also Joe Swamberg, who's also in your Next. Yep. And of course... The amazing Gene Jones as father, the leader of the compound, uh, who you might have seen on Louie. Yep. He plays a doctor on Louie and has a pretty good one-liner. Exactly. And that's that's actually, an Easter egg. That's actually why they uh, cast him. As they saw, they were looking to cast this role and they saw him on Louie and they realized he's perfect and he kills it. In kills this movie. it. I like that it's uh, like a lot of Ty West films. Um, it slowly builds the world. You're being immersed in the world along with the characters. One of Ty West's best directing qualities is his atmospheric horror. Ken, this is something I've been thinking about recently. I feel like there's a good chance to ask it. Where do you stand with the idea of... Because you just saw uh, The Quiet Ones last week and an Oculus just came out. And I've been thinking a lot recently about the nature between jump scares and like the real mechanics of horror. What are those? Like, how do you describe that? Like, what differentiates a movie like this from something that, like the, the Quiet Ones? Movies like Oculus and uh, Insidious and, and most recently The Quiet Ones, they're movies that, through their cinematography and through their sound department and through their lighting teams, they try and scare you. They use jump tactics to try and make you feel like their movie's gonna go home with you. But the movies that go home with you are the ones that are about real horrors you know, people losing their minds. So you're kind of saying that, like, one of the main differences between a scary movie with jump scares and stuff like that and, and a true horror film might be empathy. Like, the, the idea that you can see yourself in the situation of a horror movie, you feel that. Or it's something you can relate to. It's fears. It's not just, oh, something jumped out of me. It's deep down core fears. Yeah, if, if it's not something you've personally gone through, it's something you've you know your family's gone through, your yeah. friends have gone through. The sacrament definitely falls in the horror category. Not a lot of uh, jump scares, but a lot of slow build terror. Yeah. And it's definitely, if you're a fan of that genre, if you're a fan of uh, uh, those type of movies, and if you're also, also a fan of solid indie filmmaking, yeah. definitely check it out. Like we said, video on demand. It'll be coming to a theater near you in June. June. Hopefully it'll be one near you. Can I really thank you for taking me through these classic horror films, and in, uh, in this case, through the sacrament. Uh, that's coming out and uh, it's been a cool journey it's been very educational for me as somebody who did not start out uh, uh, my life as a horror fan you know man I feel like this journey we went down in the horoscope really sucked <laughs> we shouldn't do it ever again <laughs> yeah man I'm kind of glad we're done I, I really think the short films are more uh, yeah. where it's at I definitely we do not entertain people <laughs>
we're definitely going to do more of these short films. Uh, we'll definitely do some stuff. Expect some exciting things coming down the line. We're going to try and uh, uh, keep things uh, jamming on the Fridayverse channel. But as far as the horoscope, as far as over, over my dead body. Hey everyone, my name is DJ Frankenstein. Rat, rat. No, that's fascist. That's pretentious, you fucking dick. I know. And I'm Wolfman Ken. <laughs> We want to welcome you to Hitville Horoscope, and today we're talking about The Sacrament, a wonderful psychological thriller, a uh, spectacular horror. It's not even good, man. What are you talking about? It was a great movie. It's just bullshit about this fucking people, human beings, been dead for centuries. Well, it doesn't need to be a supernatural movie, does it? Yeah, dude. That's what we fucking are. We're supernatural, dude. Those fucking people were natural, dude. We're fucking supernatural, bro. We're above this shit. Gene Jones, what do you think of that I, fat I, fuck? I thought Gene Jones did an excellent job in his performance. Yeah, he did play a human pretty good for a skeleton. They put him in one of those fat man suits, like Myers wore one. Play fat bastard. That movie's not funny. Let's just stop talking about movies, dude, and go back to music reviews. We aren't agreeing on this shit. Yeah, man, music is a better choice for us. Uh, like, how about that Arcade Fire? Their new album's Oh, great. my God. They're fucking humans who are cryogenically frozen, dude. They're cold to the heart, dude. You gotta start listening to, like, Frightened Leprechauns, Devonder Tooth Fairy, or, like, Zombie Del Rey. She's fucking hot. I'd That's creep-tastic. Creep